You're going to love this. Roadblock. He comes yeah, that was out dusty. with this gimmick on his shoulders, like they're doing construction behind him. I guess his biggest claim to fame in WCW is he got racked by Lex Luger on a nitro. How in the world does this get greenlit? Just Dusty saying we need a big old. Cap. No, I don't know if that was Dusty now that I think about it. I don't know if that was Dusty. I can't remember that one. I can't remember who 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 whose fingerprints are on that one. I'll take it since I can't remember by default. If it happened on Nitro, it's my fault or my to my credit. Either way. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's what going back to the you know when we first opened up the show, it's like oh, we still got to serve that teen preteen and still do some of the same stuff that worked in the you know late eighties, early nineties because there's still people that love that type of character or like that type of character. But that was bad. It was, the idea was kind of fun, but it didn't live long. It looked like a roadblock, though. Oh, uh, he was uh, to ratings. Uh, next up, we got the Mauler, Mike <laughs> Enos. He's uh, part of one of the more historic moments in WCW history. He's actually in the ring when Scott Hall comes down to start what would become the NWO invasion, but the mauler, we're just, we're just throwing shit together here. Are we not? Yeah, I was, we were trying to find something for Mike, you know, Mike, Mike was a pretty solid worker. You know, he, he was never going to be a main eventer or even a semi main eventer, but not everybody is. And you still need to fill two hours, sometimes three. So you're not going to have not everybody on your show is going to be, you know, a potential main eventer sometime in the next six months or a year. But Mike was dependable. He was professional. He was easy to work with and he could make people look good. You know, he was one of those guys you needed in the middle of your show to kind of help build the momentum in your show and, and help create some anticipation. Good guy. Good guy. We used to love working with him in AWA. He was horrible on the mic. Absolutely horrible on the mic. Uh, but he was fun to work with. And I wasn't any better, by the way, in the AWA. I sucked as probably more than Mike did, which is saying that. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of things that suck, we teased it. We've talked about it. 